What's up folks? So um, I'm packing to get ready to go uh, to Batam. We're going to Baralang Pond. Uh, it's going to be a w pretty much a one, one day thing. So what you see here, all of that is going to go into that bag. And we have that bazooka with three rods inside. So we're going to spend a little bit more than just uh, a day in, in Batam. So I'm going to be trying some uh, Ajing stuff as well. Just, you know, it's on the coast. So we're going to see what we're going to get. But mainly, mainly it's Baralang. I'm going to be doing quite, or at least compared to the usual stuff, I'm going to try to do a bit more vlogging stuff this trip. So, so yeah, stay tuned for that. folks all packed the wife and the stuff and I'll see you probably at the ferry terminal if not on the ferry if not in Batam yep I've basically just been informed that I have to check my mini rod tube in, which is, I, I don't really get it, but, but yeah, uh, let's go check that shit in. <laughs> this one don't need to check, right? Fishing rod. Well, that was nice of him. So apparently, apparently we are allowed to uh, grab the tube just as we, uh, just before we get into the ferry. So I, that further pushes my point of I don't get why we have to check the bag in. Or maybe they have to security check the bag or something. Because you know, it's a mini bazooka. Folks, we we just reached Batam. Yeah, man. Uh, I managed to get to the front of the queue, so um, I'm gonna go queue for the passport whilst um, kind of reserving the spot for my wife, who's kind of stuck behind. I guess the right thing to do will be to wait for her, but the practice thing to do would just be to get there first and stand in line. Wow. <sighs> Guys, it's so warm. The aircon's not working in the car. I have to be. So we just wait. No. I'm still not used to this camera. I keep looking at the screen and not the camera. On a side note, uh, Nine Tails almost made us miss the ferry. No, she didn't. My wife spotted Nine Tails and went crazy. And she, did you get it? Yeah, of course. How many times did it escape? Like six times. Yeah, I got it on the first try. No, he did yeah, not. Yeah, I did. Second. No, Nine Tails was first try. Really? It's the, it's the blue one that I took like six tries and couldn't get it. What is it? Dragonair. No, uh, yeah, yeah, Dragonair. Yeah, Dragonair. Whatever that thing is. The one that looks like a The only Dragonair I know is an actual airline. Alright, 
right so basically what we have here's the current plan I uh, checked the tight tables uh, it's right now it's uh, it's five o'clock high tide was at 3 30 so if the tide's high enough we're gonna try uh, heading out for a really quick uh, little session on the jetty uh, the, the resort has a pretty long jetty that goes all the way out so we managed to catch enough water um, we're gonna just give it a try and see whether we can catch any small stuff So I don't know if you guys can see it, but just take note of just just take note of the width of that little path that we're on. And this is a full-size van. It's a six-seater van. So just take note. This is like crazy driving skill. The van is literally as wide as the path, and he's going down it like it's nothing. Yeah, so some of the folks, um, some of the folks who are staying here, actually retired here. They kind of retired, bought over a unit uh, themselves, and they're kind of actually staying here full time now. Uh, you can get, you can get cable or satellite TV. You can get internet and everything installed in each in each unit if you are willing to put down the money for it. So. Um, I, I, not really my kind of thing. If it was, a, you know, if it was a river, if it was a river system, yeah, maybe. But it's next to the sea, which, as you guys must realize by now, saltwater fishing isn't my favorite thing. Uh, though I've fished saltwater considerably longer than freshwater, so it's just not really my thing. But otherwise, it's a pretty nice. I mean, check it out. It's a pretty nice place to retire, wouldn't you say? Alright folks, we are in the we are in the unit. Uh, unfortunately uh, so right right now I'm just kind of prepping the the ultralight rods to go to the uh, jetty for a quick I suppose arging session. Honestly the arging genre kind of confuses me. But yeah, it's just a name, right? Oh yeah, just just uh, one more thing real quick. Um, it's something that I've seen happen way too often and I really feel the, that I need to state this on video. So this right here, I don't know if you can see it. All right, so this is the snap. Okay, so I've got it tied on. Now how I'm going to do this is I'm going to clip it to the foot of the guide. You're not gonna put it in the guide ring itself. That's gonna have a really high chance of ruining the guide insert. I was under the impression that this was pretty common knowledge, but in the last two weeks alone, I've seen like seven people store their snap around the guide ring. So guys, it's really not good for the rod. I, I don't care how cheap your rod is. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. How hard is it? Just clip it on the guide foot, guys. All right, it's just it's gonna save you money. It's gonna make your rods last a lot longer. It's supposed to be common knowledge, but just wanted to get it out there. All right, so I hope you find this tip useful. Anyway, see you in a bit. So off we go, driver. Wow, the wife is doing the vlogging today. Yeah, since he's driving, hands on the wheel. <laughs> All right, folks, so the, the jetty was a bust. Um, apparently, there's some repairs going on. It's a bit too dangerous for us to go out on the jetty to fish. So uh, we're going to head for dinner at, uh, at a really popular uh, seafood place. All right, folks, welcome to the next episode of DCSG Feeding. Um, what we have here is a uh, Rizuki brand black pepper crayfish. It is about about 100 mm long. 
it is obviously a diver. Alright, look at that tail wiggle action. Just perfection. Over here we have a a top water Yu Tiao that is Sotong flavoured. Probably floats very well. 